Hey loves, I'm being an old queenie today in honor of the queen, yes. <laughs> Let's get right into this video. Welcome to this video. It's a double dutch braid with clip on hair extensions tutorial. I'm just starting off parting my hair. I'm using my chin and my nose as a guide. I especially love this hairstyle because it's such a protective hairstyle and it's great if your hair is dirty or anything. And because of this, I always use it as an opportunity to put in lovely hair oils and aloe vera and all that good stuff into my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using the damn clip on hair extensions because they're the best, darling. I'm using the three clip pieces and the two clip pieces for some ombre and some color on there. I'm just putting all that good stuff in my hair right now. If you don't wanna put in hair oils or anything, you can of course put in some hairspray for that structure, but I'm not doing that. Start off parting your hair using a crescent shape as I did there. And you basically want to make sure your hair is in that crescent shape for the parting for your clip on hair extensions because if your hair isn't in that crescent shape, I mean, I tried a few other ways of putting in a clip on extensions to achieve this look. You're just gonna see the clip ons poking out and you just don't want any of that nastiness. So basically make sure you're parting your hair in that crescent shape uh, about two inches or so from your ear and then you should be fine. Um, I've clipped in my three clip piece there and I'm going to clip in my two clip piece uh, ombre extensions and of course this is all natural real hair um, so it looks really nice and natural. Uh, I'm just positioning this directly underneath the three clip. And that's it all in. These are the extensions I'll be using because I like quite thin pigtails or dutch braids. Um, and adjust any pieces you need to in terms of any clips poking out or anything like that. Start off parting your hair in a three strand like you would a regular braid, okay? Um, and all it is for a Dutch braid is you're going underneath of another strand. And I'll show you that in a second. Now I did take two because I actually started doing the braid on the other side. I filmed the whole thing and then the footage was just whack. Like we couldn't see the right angle or anything like that. So I finished the braid on the other side and now I'm gonna show you this angle because uh, I sat in a different position so hopefully you see this clear. I'm just doing exactly the same steps I did in the other half of my head. Three clip pieces and two clip pieces going in. I'm putting in a little bit of ribbon this time and I put it on a Kirby and then I slid that onto the strip. Just for some extra dimension. Like I feel like so many girls are going to be rocking this look and putting in the ribbon just sets you apart from all that. So start off with the three strands as I was saying before. And all it is with the Dutch braid is you're going underneath your middle strand. So with a regular braid you go over but with the Dutch braid you're going under. And really slow, slowed it down here for you guys. You're taking your left strand, going underneath your middle strand, which then becomes a middle strand, and then you're taking the right strand and going underneath that. And you're basically essentially doing the same thing and taking a bit of care with you as you go down your head. And it's really quite simple. You do get quite used to it, but you do need to think about it a bit because it's different from what you normally do. Um, again, I'm going underneath the middle strand as you can see here, taking a little bit of hair, keeping it quite tight, and then following it by going underneath again. So left strand, going underneath the middle strand, that left strand then becomes a middle strand, and then you take the right strand, a little bit of hair, and go underneath that middle strand, which then becomes a new middle strand. It's a bit sore, your hands will get a bit sore, but it's worth it, especially if your hair is gonna get hair treatment all day. I think it's totally worth it. And already you can see how that ribbon's kind of popping with the color, it's good. You can see the gaps in my hair, and that's really just to show you that you can't see any clip-on hair extensions at all. Like you can fill in any gaps with like eyeshadow or anything like that, but um, you can't even tell there's any clip-on hair extensions there, it looks really natural. So make sure you are positioning your strip that way, like I said, the crescent shape. Um, just finishing off the braid here at the end with a regular braid. You can of course use a longer ribbon. It's up entirely up to you. I did it just sort of midway. Um, if you want the color to follow all the way down, then use a longer, longer ribbon and measure it out before you braid to make sure you're getting it right. And then carry on braiding just like normal. I love the blue. Finish off with a brown hairband. You don't want to use a regular hairband. Um, and some aloe vera just to make it nice and shiny and give it that wet look, which I love. Some edging um, control if you need your edges controlled. And um, if you're going to use that type of edge control, make sure you use a rat's tail comb. I'm pancaking, pancaking my braid here to pull it out a little bit more to make it look a bit bigger. But this is the finished result, and I love it. You cannot see any clip on hair extensions anywhere. It's fantastic. It looks really natural, like the hair is growing out of my head. 
Um, and yeah, it's a great look. I couldn't have achieved this braid without the clip on hair extensions, to be honest. I love the blue as well. Like, that just totally adds that blueness on that shit. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and please like this video. See you in my next one.